Hello everyone. Uh, today we have with us uh, FICOM uh, Passion P660 uh, unit with us. Uh, we had uh, unboxing video of this device uh, some time back. Uh, and in today's video we will uh, be doing the review of this device. We have used this device for almost uh, 10 days. Uh, as a primary device for few days in fact uh, and uh, today's uh, review will be based on the experience which we had uh, during our testing phase so this is the FICOM Passion P660 uh, which is available on Amazon India for a price of uh, approximately 11,000 rupees and uh, it competes uh, in the uh, mid-range uh, price segment in Indian smartphone market. Uh, so let's uh, start. Uh, so before we proceed, we'll just talk about the hardware specification in a small detail, not much detail, but small detail. I'll say this is a. 5 inch H, a full HD screen so this is a 5 inch full HD screen by full HD uh, we mean it comes with a resolution of 1280 by 1920p pixels the device is powered by 2 GB of RAM and in terms of processor it is powered by 1.5 GHz octa core processor and operating system is Android 4.4.4 KitKat so just have a look at the about phone setting which tells you all these details right here you can see the, de the device model number is FICOM P660 apart from that processor is Qualcomm MSM8939 Android 4.4.4 operating system that is all uh, the CPU again it tells you is Octopo 1.3 gigahertz Qualcomm CPU RAM is 2 GB phone storage is 16 GB out of which 13.5 GB approximately 13 GB is available to the user out of which at the moment is approximately 10 GB is not used right I'll just zoom it out for you so that you can have a better look on these right so as you can see these uh, model number processor Android version RAM and other stuff we'll uh, just have a look on the storage option uh, to give you a clear understanding of the storage here you can see the internal storage is approximately 13.18 GB out of which 10.25 GB is available at the moment right so if you go to the bottom of this setting you'll found the option of SD card which tells you that you can use a SD card on this device uh, but uh, it doesn't gives you option of using a OS OTG device that is you cannot use a USB on the go OTG device so uh, it's a drawback if you want to use a OTG device with this uh, smartphone you cannot use it right now let's have a look at the benchmark results We ran an Antutu benchmark on this device and the scores came out around 26,000 plus uh, which is a pretty good score considering the price of 10,000 rupees but uh, if you have a look at the latest uh, smartphones which are in the same price range for example Lenovo K K3 Note the Antutu benchmark score comes out to be 45,000 plus which is pretty impressive considering the price, device is priced just 10,000 rupees but uh, if you leave that exception that uh, 26,000 plus score for uh, a smartphone in 10,000 uh, 11,000 rupees price range is good enough right 
as you can see if you go to the rankings here the scores uh, comparable to show me redmi note and show me mi2 right so you can pretty much say that uh, this device doesn't perform excellently good compared to other devices right we'll just have a look at the hardware specification which we already talked about uh, we'll uh, check out mostly what uh, the cpu version which is here run to 2 tells you it's qualcomm snapdragon 615 and the gpu is at adreno 405 rear camera 13 megapixel ram 2 gb internal storage 16 gb then we have uh, the battery the battery for this device is 2600 mAh and uh, we'll check out the sensors that comes with this uh, smartphone that is direction sensor G, G sensor is not supported acceleration sensor light sensor recompass sensor proximity sensor the gyro temperature sensor are not supported pressure sensor is there apart from that you have a rotation vector sensor also right so this was the benchmark score now it also comes with a pedometer installed but uh, even though while we use this device the pedometer appears to be quite inaccurate and the whatever readings that came out on this pedometer were not so accurate we, uh, we couldn't find any way to tweak those uh, pedometer settings so uh, unless uh, FICOM uh, fixes out these pedometer inaccuracies uh, it's uh, little used to a end user right now let's have a look at the camera as we talked about this comes with uh, 13 megapixel uh, main camera and 8 me uh, 5 megapixel front camera so we took a lot of uh, pictures with this uh, even though the camera quality is good uh, we'll uh, show you some pictures uh, that are taken by this uh, smartphone Ficom P660 but uh, uh, let's just check out one of the videos that we took uh, using this so we'll just run it for you this video was taken uh, in broad day daylight and uh, well there was ample sunlight around right the picture quality and the video quality appears look great enough right so now let's uh, have a look on some of the pictures we'll uh, check out those pictures in the gallery As you can see these are some of the pictures uh, which we took uh, in different light condition the camera quality is in fact good but uh, the problem is the camera software is not so good and uh, it comes with a software which comes with almost no modes and uh, even you cannot find a HDR mode on, in this uh, camera only thing is that uh, it comes with the usual uh, settings so, uh, we'll have a look uh, on these camera settings 
these are the usual default camera settings in which you can change picture size, face detection, picture quality, you can set shutter key, expose or white balance etc. Uh, the only good thing here is that it comes with uh, color effect filters like auto, mono, sepia, solarize, posterize, aqua. Apart from that it also gives you small uh, mode of normal shot, zero shutter, burst mode, sunset mode, right? Uh, but if you are looking for modes like SDR mode and uh, few other uh, similar modes that you usually uh, see on other smartphone, th this is pretty absent in this, right? Similarly, the front uh, quality, front camera was uh, just normal, not so good, not so bad. Uh, but still we expected more at least in terms of camera software for a device which is priced for around uh, more than 10,000 rupees right now let's have a look at the browser it comes with its own browser I'm sorry if I missed that oh, I'm sorry it is uh, so we checked out the browser performance and it was great in fact during uh, the course of our uh, testing for almost two weeks uh, we didn't felt any issues uh, with the browser or in general uh, with the device itself either in terms of uh, hang hanging uh, the device or the lags uh, in, in using any of the applications the device performs quite good in fact in terms of speed and everything else right as you can see the browsing is quite uh, smooth on this uh, device as the screen uh, screen is a full HD device right so I'll uh, just open up uh, any page and see how it works So here it is, so browsing experience has been uh, good in fact and uh, we didn't face any issues while using the browser itself. Uh, apart from that, uh, now let's ch uh, check out some thing, some pre-installed apps, uh, here you can see it comes with a pre-installed barometer app uh, which basically tells you the pressure and the altitude on this uh, on your present location for example here it tells you the pressure of 977.61 uh, pa pascal and altitude of 185 meter right I am not sure how uh, accurate the altitude is the, but the pressure is perfectly fine that is almost equal to one atmospheric bar using this uh, barometer also you can measure the height of any particular object by calculating the pressure at the lowest point and at the highest point using uh, the measurement button the app talks about uh, how to do that uh, as instructions here right uh, apart from that it comes with uh, gestures these days uh, gestures has, are getting common in the smartphone but we'll talk about what gestures this device supports as you can see it supports air gesture unlock standby status bar music and pictures will just uh, show you what it means basically so air gesture standby help means that you can gesture your hand on it at a distance of 3 cm to 15 cm from left to right and your phone will move to standby similarly you can unlock the phone just by gesturing your hand on the top of it uh, at a distance of 3 cm to 15 cm to unlock similarly you can start music playing music using the gesture similarly you can view pictures in your gallery using the gesture 
keep in mind that uh, these options are disabled by default and you need to enable uh, these options here right apart from that you have uh, some uh, applications installed which uh, I'll talk about the most of them being the stock ones the only ones which uh, new uh, the uh, this one wireless desk which lets you convert this smartphone into a wireless disk server and you can use a shared folder using this application right you need to just enable this and you will get a notification that a FTP server has started at a IP address of 192.168.1.99 is to 3088 port right so using these this server you can transfer files from this smartphone using the wireless network which is connected to any other smartphone uh, phone or your PC or a tablet right now let's have a look at uh, gaming perform this is asphalt 8 and uh, we have played uh, asphalt 8 on this device for uh, quite some time during our testing phases and uh, we faced no issues on this uh, game while running it uh, and uh, apart from that we also faced uh, no hitting issues uh, after playing the game for almost 15-20 uh, minutes right so we'll just uh, run the game for you As you can see, it is it takes a bit of few seconds uh, during the initial uh, loading. As you can see, uh, the graphics on the screen appears uh, quite uh, great. In fact, uh, considering the fact uh, that uh, this is a full HD screen, the graphics on the screen uh, display are quite excellent. Uh, if you consider that uh, the device is priced just uh, 11,000 rupees, uh, this is a pretty good graphics. As you can see, I'm not a very good uh, gamer in fact, uh, but uh, good enough to play some racing games like these ones, right? So, uh, we can say for sure that if you are a gamer you won't uh, regret uh, using this device uh, we face no issues uh, in terms of lag or frame drops uh, keep in mind that we tested this device with default settings of asphalt 8 and uh, we we are not uh, running this uh, game on a, with a game with a full uh, graphic settings or full uh, graphics so maybe if uh, we use uh, full graphics with full settings in terms of uh, each uh, feature then perhaps uh, we may feel uh, some issues but uh, most uh, common users on the smartphones uh, 
play the game on the default settings and that's why we prefer to play uh, it on the default settings right so uh, that's the gaming uh, performance and as we said uh, this is a pretty good gaming, gaming device considering the price if you are not a heavy gamer and you play small games then the device is much smoother than what you see on this uh, heavy uh, graphics in, in, intensive games like uh, asphalt 8 now apart from gaming uh, in terms of let's move to voice and call quality uh, the normal uses of phones uh, during our review period we, uh, the call quality of the device was pretty good we, we do not face any issues while using the device as our primary phone uh, the voice was clear from both sides uh, there were no issues uh, related to pick up or hanging up and uh, we we were using it quite smoothly for almost uh, four to five days now apart from call quality let's have a look at the design a bit uh, as you can see these are the menu buttons uh, even though the menu buttons appear quite visible when you are in uh, sunlight or ample light around you but uh, these menu buttons are not backlit so if you are using the device in uh, dark surroundings uh, this may be a cause of concern uh, because uh, you'll find it difficult to use these menu buttons now apart from that uh, now let's have a look at the battery device uh, battery performance uh, we use this uh, smartphone as a primary device uh, and uh, to be honest we do not find anything excellent about the battery the battery performed just uh, like any other smartphone it didn't last for a full day if you are a heavy user if you are a moderate user it was able to last uh, almost a day but keep in mind that the definition of moderate user changes from one person to another for us uh, if a battery lasts for more than one day for a moderate user the battery is good but uh, this one lasted for almost a day if we used uh, it heavily means uh, if you used it heavily it didn't last it for the whole day sorry for the goof of right now so apart from that uh, let's talk about something else uh, uh, the speaker quality uh, in terms of sound as we talked about uh, during the games also uh, if you have uh, notice the sound quality is not uh, too loud and we'll just uh, run it for you again the sound right so as you can see this is uh, pretty much the loudest sound you can hear on this uh, smartphone uh, we expected the more louder sound compared to what it is so in terms of sound if you are expecting something loud uh, you may be disappointed right so that's it uh, uh, that was uh, our review of uh, Ficom Passion P660 it is a great device uh, the only issue which you feel that uh, if the device has been priced a bit lower compared to what it is that is 11,000 rupees uh, it was a pretty smooth and perfect device compared to any other smartphones available in the market but considering the price is around 11,000 rupees and some much better options have started to emerge in the same price segment it will be difficult uh, for for it to beat the competition and hopefully FICOM will lower the price or maybe 
produce a better version to compete with the new models that have been launched by other brands in Indian smartphone market. So thank you for watching this uh, review of Ficom Passion P660. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Ask any questions if I missed something or I have goofed up something. Dislike the video if do not like this review. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another video. Thank you.